This tutorial will show you how to break up a wall section in Revit so that you can fit it on a sheet if it is too tall to fit on a sheet. So first let's go to the sheet and let's try dragging the wall section onto the sheet to see how well it fits. So you notice it doesn't quite fit on the sheet. We can be a little more efficient by dragging the detail or the drawing label up a little bit closer to the drawing, but if this gets any taller or if we need to change the scale, it's going to be an issue. So what we want to do is we want to break it up similar to some of the examples seen in the case study assignment. So if we come back to the drawing, it's hard to tell how we can do that. But what we can do is we can actually show the crop region and then when we click on the crop region, you notice these little zigzags that show up. And then when we hang over that area, you notice the word horizontal view break comes up and we can actually click on that and start breaking the drawing up into pieces. When we break a drawing up into pieces, we have to be careful not to cut out things that are important. So typically what we do is we have something at the most important connection points like floor to wall, foundation connections, roof connections, and window and door connections. I don't have any windows and doors in this wall section, but what I can do is I can adjust it and then break it up another time so that I can zoom in at the floor to wall to foundation connection, the floor to wall connection, and then the floor to roof connection. So you notice I enlarged it, but if I hover over those zigzags again, I can break it up one more time. And here I'm going to bring it up and focus around this floor to exterior wall connection. And you notice there are some arrows within that. That's the move tool to move these other portions of the cut up wall section closer and then I can do the same thing with this section. I don't want to break it anymore so I want to be careful what I click on and now I've made it much shorter in relation to the sheet and you notice it updates on the sheet as well. Since we are breaking up this wall section we need to add those break lines so I want to go to annotate my detail component and since we use break line last, it defaults to that. And I add the break line and want to make sure that that masking region is in the right section. Then what I can do is I can turn off the crop region and there's a lot of space between those broken up sections so I probably want to move them a little closer together. So I click on the crop region itself and that's how I get to those elements that allow me to break things up a little bit more. Sometimes you have to zoom in quite a bit. And adjust accordingly. Now I've got a wall section that's broken up and when we break up our wall sections that's a good time to start placing our detail components which would be our individual bricks, concrete blocks, and things like that. We don't want to add detail components if we're going to be cutting them out of the drawing in the first place. So making sure that the wall section is going to fit on the sheet first is a good place to start. Now I'm going to add our detail components but I'm going to do that as a separate tutorial in case students need to go back and look at that specifically.